Uh, hey guys, girls and now by pass SMI. This is going to be here for your ex male McGonagall's son or rear. In this story, Harry Potter is going to be a new professor. The professor who is McGonagall's son. Hope you guys enjoy part one of what. In this story, Harry Potter is going to enjoy. This is a p part one of the series where Harry Potter and his friends join the Hogwarts Academy. Hope you guys enjoy part one of what. Meanwhile, in the Academy, the Hogwarts staff get everything set up for the introduction of the new students and the greeting of an, an old friend, an old colleague, and an old student who um, graduated and left to go on his own path, a path where light will bear its shyness to darkness. Once they were staying up, they heard the boats were here. They were excited to see the old friend again colleague and son again for one special teacher. Once that boy returned, students got out and got to their seats looking at the decorations on the wall to get a welcome back poster hanging on the, the hanging by the staff's eating post. They read the name and they were all the old students were shocked to see that the great and powerful wizard was back home from a line of mission to use himself on to. Once that was going on, the youngsters were way outside when they saw a, a Phoenix Hydra fly in from the south, landing in inside Hogwarts. Well, buddy, looks like we're home. The Marauder said, smiling at his Hydra. A couple of the kids ran to try to attack the stranger, thinking it was a villain or an eater. Toy side pulled his wand and the guy in defense of stands. Really, student and young students are like you. Shouldn't stand up a professor like me. He sighed, looking at Magago walking. To see you, how many students run away. Ah, Mama, I'm sorry, I uh, almost attacked them. McGonagall sighed. You guys knew the, the professor always flies, not go joins on a boat. McGonagall looked at her side and you know what you play on your what, just to protect yourself and your bird. McGonagall laughs. But as always, you have to protect your bird and yourself from any ultimate danger. No, my God, I said, walking up and hugging her son. I'm sorry, Mama. I forgot. These are the new students. I just came back and the old students were easy to dish out. McGonagall laughed at the comment and looked at the students. Go back to where your post was. You were supposed to stay there. McGonagall gave them the look that they, she would always give her son. Tori sighed and hugged her tightly. He is their mama. They didn't do anything wrong. They were just antsy. I understand they were antsy, but trying to attack a professor who just got back from a long and weak mission. It's just so wrong, McGonagall said, looking at her son. As always, Mama, I was the one that started it, no what them. McGonagall sighed, I know, but next time, stop and think before you act. I know, Mama, I promise. McGonagall sighed and followed, dragged her son to the post. Stay here and protect the students. As always, like last few years, McGonagall left and watched as the students looked at a five, six male. One, can to destroy my head because they're one of you kids. McGonagall laughed and walked back into the form, double door that the professor has returned. And tell Hagrid to take his Helios Hydra back into the barn area. Hagrid sighed and walked back 
to catch the hydrant and play back in the barn. Once I was done to his side, I could have done that, he thought, watching as Hagrid walked by. Hearing Tony say that to Hagrid laughing and walking into the building. He didn't say anything, Hagrid said, Look at him. Hagrid yelled out, Sorry you had to see me put your bird in the barn. Tony sighed and said it was alright. Yelling out it was alright, and going back to the gallery of the new students. Trying to deduce if any of them were good enough to be in his class. His class was more of an ultimate class where you join if you were given the chance to join his class. He said that he knew that none of them were perfect enough for his class, and then went back to looking over the ocean. Wow, these kids are nothing. He slapped in his brain, looking through the oceans of waves. What are you looking at? Am I asked? The ocean, what else would I be looking at? There's nothing much to look at. Tony sighed, looking through the ocean again. And I joined him and saw the ocean was beautiful. How do you get used to this, living here on the island? Everything I do is on the island. The island is my home. So I sighed, looking at Hermione this time. I was born here. I was raised here. I was never raised on a different island. This is my home. This is my life. I understand this is where I became a professor, a student, and a wizard. But why is it so hard for you? Because everything I do is for my mother. I do not do anything else for my mother. Everything that I learned was for my mother. No, no, that everything I do is for anything my mother needs. I'll do. But, shut it, Hermione. You're not just a blue or blood. You are just a wizard in training. So know that you are going to through a lot in this academy. So please, just understand that some professors don't want to talk about the past. Got it, me? Yes, sir. Her mind said, smiling. So, which one of you is Harry? I am. Harry said, smiling. Well, Harry, I'm sorry. If anything goes wrong, just come to me, alright? A lot of professors have high hopes for you. And I somewhat don't have high hopes for you. So try to come to me when you have panic issues, alright? Sure, sir, I would. Good. And even though I'm 22, don't go with sir. I don't really like that. I'm not old. Like my uncles and aunts. I'm more younger than they are. Yes, mister. That's better. Now I should uh, tell you all that in this school, there's a special class that's my class. And if I see that you are truly right for my class, I'll pick you to join it. For right now, I don't see any of you as true first years to join my class. Until I see that you can do better in your magic, or if your magic is stronger, then maybe one day I'll let you join my class. But only when that happens, then you'll join my class. You got me? Yes, sir, they all said, but Draco was angry and furious, kneeling he was under, under the grates. Don't, don't do this, Malfoy. I already understand your power, and I don't want it in my class as well. So I sighed, looking through the windows. Wow, they overdid it. Harry asked, How do you... Why is your eyes like that? Harry asked, I am a Casimir Fox. I have those special eyes. You mean to help me see through things. Sorry, you should have read my cards and stuff, and books that are based off of my power. Tony sighed, looking at them. I read it, but why can't
testing my power. Why use your wizardry power? Testing my power is more easier to use than my tame. I guess you're right. Yes, yes I am. Now let's keep it. 